All right, during the Vietnam era, some college students left school with unfinished business. We'll tell you what some universities did this year for the class of 1970. And if you attended a college commencement ceremony this year, <clears throat> excuse me, you may have seen more gray hair than usual. Some schools invited the class of 1970 to join the procession 40 years late. In the spring of 1970, America was deeply divided over the Vietnam War, and U.S. college campuses were ground zero for dissent. On April 30th, just weeks before the end of the school year, President Richard Nixon announced he was sending U.S. troops into neighboring Cambodia. That touched off protests at many U.S. college campuses, and at Kent State University in Ohio, National Guardsmen shot and killed four demonstrators. The result was outrage and the biggest student strike in U.S. history. Time magazine counted 441 colleges and universities affected in one way or another, and on many campuses, the school year ended chaotically. Boston University canceled commencement ceremonies. There was great unrest on campus and there were sniper threats, so the university thought it best to call off graduation. They went ahead with commencement at the University of Cincinnati, but many of the graduates were missing. UC went through the commencement process, but because school had been closed down for about five or six weeks prior to, a lot of people were not uh, notified or could not come back to attend. This year, after 40 years, some members of the class of 1970 finally got their commencement. I present to you the Boston University class of 1970. Boston University, the University of Cincinnati, and Ohio University in Athens invited their 1970 graduates back to campus to join the class of 2010 for some long-awaited recognition. I was never much for pomp and circumstance in the 1960s and, and, and 1970. It didn't really bother me. The, what was happening in the world was more important. But for my father, who lived since the day I was born, to see me graduate from college like nobody else in my family had ever done. A couple of us just looked up towards heaven <laughs> for our parents who are residing there now. And uh, we wish they could be here today to see this. All right, Bill Mulvihill is vice president of the University of Cincinnati Foundation. He is also a member of the class of 1970 and uh, one of the 1970 UC graduates who participated in this year's commencement ceremony. He's joining us now from Cincinnati. Good to see you. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Well, congratulations again. <laughs> well, it was, it was a great thrill and a great uh, time for all of us who participated. So give me an idea, what was that like early this month to have this graduation and so many of those graduates from 1970 who weren't part of the ceremonies in, in 1970 who, who made the effort to come back for this commencement? Well, it was a great time for us to renew some old friendships. When commencement uh, took place so late at Cincinnati, uh, many of us weren't able to have that usual end of college experience together collectively and it allowed uh, us to do that. And uh, I think the people who came back were pleasantly surprised at the, the type of campus we now have and we're very proud of the academic program we had and I think uh, when they all left they were very proudly Cincinnati. So why was this so meaningful to do this that uh, Boston would do this that your campus would do this why so important why not let well, bygones be bygones so to speak? Well I think there you know there's certain rites of passages in all of our lives and this was one that many of us missed as a collective experience and the opportunity to come back and have that shared experience. You, you know, in those times, there were many more shared experiences because of, frankly, the lack of the, the number of TV stations we have today and media outlets. Everyone, every morning, shared something that happened the night before. Mm -hmm. In fact, when the Kent State uh, shooting took place, you heard that from a, an individual. You heard it from a person who had emotion. You didn't hear it on your cell phone or get a text about it. Mm -hmm. And I think that caused that time to be much more meaningful and personal to people than maybe sometimes are today. So the opportunity to kind of close that loop, I think, was important to many of us. Do you remember that as if it were yesterday? I remember the closing of schools if it was yesterday. I remember the, the turmoil on campus. Mm -hmm. It was such an emotional time with all the issues going on around the country. And when Kent State took place, it was such an unbelievable moment that it's hard not to remember it. How much of 
that moment and the ripple effects did you think of uh, during this year's ceremony? Well, it was hard not to think about it because it was really the reason that we, we came together. And yeah. it's something, when you live through something like that, it's something you never forget. And I think we all had somewhat tears in our eyes a little bit thinking about the emotional time and, and the ability to bring closure to that. So the 2010 graduates can't possibly understand. I mean, they're so far removed from that experience, right. it, you know. But did you find you and other graduates of 1970 trying to kind of explain or educate the class of 2010 about what this really means? Yeah, we had several opportunities to interact with some of the graduates from this year. and. You know, they have their own challenges going on in the world, but they were very interested in what had happened at that time. They only had vague memories of it. They really didn't understand the total impact of it. And I think they appreciated the fact that we took time to come back and celebrate. And they gave us a, a very nice, warm reception when we came back. What were some of the reasons why some graduates did not come, uh, did not take uh, University of Cincinnati up on the offer to graduate, to walk? I think uh, one is time, obviously, that uh, d the time and, and funds it takes to get back to the university to participate in this ceremony uh, may have been too much for some people. I think some people just felt that uh, it was such an emotional time they didn't want to relive it again, mm. and so they chose to do that. And I think there were others who just uh, were, were so uh, upset with what had happened at that time. They, they, they didn't think it was appropriate to come back and have a celebration or about that time. And you feel good about the opportunity to, uh, to walk 40 years later? It was great. Uh, the people I saw who I hadn't seen for 40 years, we, we quickly relived some memories, and it was a real, very special time for me. All right, Bill Mulvihill, thanks so much, and congratulations again. Congratulations to the class of 2010 and, of course, uh, the class of 1970. <laughs> Thank you. All right, thanks for your time.